good evening. Una mano para corregirte y una mano para abrazarte. I have two hands, one to spank you and the other one to cuddle you. That's what my mom used to tell me when I was growing up. She's been a tough single parent. She's always understanding. She understood that there was a lot I didn't know about being an immigrant here in California. So just before Christmas, a few months ago, my mom told me to go to a community meeting. It was organized by Cherla Organization, a group supported by the Liberty Hill Foundation. I asked my mom, what is the meeting about? And she said, well, you should go. There's a lot of good information. I wasn't that interested in going, to be honest, because I'm really busy, OK? <laughs> I'm a soccer mom, number one. I'm raising a 13-year-old and a 10-year-old, OK? My oldest is in seventh grade, and my 10-year-old is in fifth grade. I run, also run my own business. Okay, with Herbalife. I live far away in Santa Clarita Valley, and I always had to worry about driving and getting stopped at a choke point, okay, because I had no driver license, okay? At least that was what I thought until I went to the community meeting and learned about my rights. Do you know that over 20 years ago, all immigrants could get a driver license in California regardless of immigration status? Immigrants were able to get to work, drive their children to school, and run everyday errands like buying groceries uh, without being you know, pulled over by the police. I found out that all of that changed in 1994, when anti-Latino laws took away the opportunity for immigrants like myself to get a valid driver license. So far, for the past two decades, immigrants like myself had no option but to drive without a driver license. What do you risk tonight when you get home? Everyday immigrants risk getting stopped by the police, getting a $900 ticket, okay, paying up to $2,500 in towing and impound fees. Or even worse, getting arrested, deported, separated from their families because they need to take care of their families but they had no driver license. Just like my mom was pulled over and fined by the police just last year near my house. Until I went to the community meeting in December, I knew about my risks, but I, need, I never knew about my rights. Especially with Assembly Bill 60, the Safe and Responsible Driver Act passed in 2013. Under, need, under this new law, any eligible person living in California could apply for a driver license, regardless of their immigration status starting January 1st of 2015. Okay. So now, guess what was my New Year's resolution? <laughs> to to stop living in fear and to be tough and strong just like my mom did, just how she taught me, okay? During the first week of January, 20, of January 1st of this year, 2015, I was one of the first 50,000 immigrants to apply under AB60 to take my driver's test for the first time in Spanish. My birthday is in January, so this was my, you know, a gift for me. Ten days later, I received my official driver license with my picture on it. My birthday, so this was an excellent gift for me. It, it says it has my name, my birthday. I won't tell you the year. <laughs> I'm so excited to finally drive legally so I can take classes in child development. I am proud to tell you that I'm pursuing a career in the medical field working with children. Thank you. 
I'm even more proud to tell you that my husband, Juan, my brother, Alejandro, and my sister-in-law, Silvia, also got licensed to drive, and, you know, to drive now legally. My parents are next, and their license is on the way. I even got my brother to volunteer at the community meetings with me. I want to say thank you to my mom. She couldn't make it today because she's babysitting for me. <laughs> but, but she has sacrificed so much for me. And just like she said, one hand to speak me and the other hand to cuddle me. And both hands to push me forward to this community meeting. Because of what I know now, I can help many others to learn about their rights as immigrants under Assembly Bill 60 and the DREAM Act. Every one of us in this ballroom is here to dream and act. We dream of a safe and better future for every person, no matter what their immigration status is. And with Liberty Hill, let's keep using both of our hands to act together. On behalf of all families, muchas gracias. <laughs>